Say it puts down in Nashville, Tennessee, and Nashville's experiencing a virtually no leaf out. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's say extra cold temperatures, crazy amounts of rain, just swamping out, you know, availability for, for the butt out, um, which means a lack of insects as well. So that bird is going to experience major trials right there and hopefully will survive and continue north. That also, when they get to their breeding grounds, um, same thing could happen. Either it could be extra cold, it could be extra warm, everything's just thrown out of whack. Um, maybe they get to the boreal forest and spruce budworms, which are important to the environment, mm -hmm. um, and other insects, maybe larvae haven't actually hatched out yet, and they're trying to find mates, set up nests, territories, and are struggling at that. So. Um, it's not just extreme weather itself, it's the effect that it has on food sources and habitat. That's the key thing to remember. Birds can handle a lot of extreme weather, mm -hmm. um, but only if they're able to find food and, and shelter to be able to survive. Mm -hmm. So that is happening on a pretty cataclysmic scale, and not, not even so much right now as it would ultimately in the future. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of globally extinct talk for many species of birds. Um, birds are amazing in their ability to adapt, but because climate change is happening so fast, yeah. they are they are not able to adapt to you know the major incursions of weather that happen and major hotter cold systems that affect insect populations.